Welcome to Fast Cabling, your favorite tech channel here with another cool outdoor networking solution. Today in this video, we are talking about how you can integrate fiber optics with solar power for a super reliable off-grid network. So imagine having blazing fast internet in the middle of nowhere and running on the power of the sun. Sounds awesome, right? So let's dive in. First thing first, let's talk about why outdoor environment need a rock solid data backbone. Now think about surveillance cameras for security, smart farming with IoT sensors, or even remote monitoring station for wildlife. Now these are critical systems that need reliable, high-speed connections and not just any connection. We're talking about fiber optics combined with the power of the sun. So how do you make all this happen without relying on traditional power grids? So here enter our solar power fiber networks. Now this setup give you complete off-grid reliability and insane energy efficiency. Now it's perfect for remote areas where running cables for electricity is just not practical or even possible. And for those who don't know, Fiber optic cables are the kings of high-speed data transmission. They use lights to send data, which means you're getting ultra-fast speed with little interference, especially compared to copper cables. And because they're so durable in harsh outdoor conditions, they're perfect for remote setup where you cannot afford to have things go down. And now let's break down the power source here. The solar panels. Now these babies are your best friends when it comes to powering off-grid network. You are getting free energy from the sun and with a solid battery backup, you have enough stored energy to keep everything running smoothly, even when the sun isn't shining. And by using battery backup, your network won't just shut down when it's cloudy or at night. You will have that consistent power that you need for your fiber devices and power over Ethernet switches. And you may ask, why bother integrating solar with fiber optics? First, you get long distance data transmission without worrying about power issues thanks to solar energy. Plus, you can add a 48 volt booster into the mix that can help you scale up and power multiple devices, cutting down your operating costs over time. And you're going to see a huge improvement in reliability for remote installation. And this is all all without having to relay on traditional power grid. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and behind me is our solar power system. And let's not forget the sustainability factor. You're reducing your carbon footprint and making it ideal for off-grid applications where green solutions are preferred. All right, so now let's get into the step-by-step -step process of integrating solar power with fiber optic for your outdoor network. Step one is set up the solar power system. First, you need the right solar panel and also the battery combo that can handle your network's power need. In fact, our very own solar power system kit is perfect for this. We have the solar panel, the battery, and the charge controller built in, so you can ensure your battery charge safely and efficiently. So let's open it. So it's already on. Step two is installing our 48 volt voltage booster. Now this little device step up the voltage from your solar system's battery to power your PUE fiber switch. And it helps maintain stable power even when the sunlight isn't consistent, like during cloudy day or nighttime. And it can ensure you get consistent voltage output so your system keeps running smoothly without interruption. As you can see, it's already connected and giving out the power for our fiber PUE switch. Now finally, let's hook up our outdoor fiber optic switch. Now these are built to be rugged and waterproof, so they can handle anything Mother Nature throws at them, whether it's rain, snow, or heat. Plus, with PUE capability, you can power devices like cameras or our wireless SS point through the fiber connection. 
So now let's connect them. This is the Ethernet cable from our wireless access point. So let's plug it in. And by using our SFP transceiver, we're going to connect it with our fiber optic cable. Now we're using this string A fiber optic cable and they are pre-made so we don't need to worry about the connector and it's super convenient. Let's slide it into the SFP port. So you can hear the click sound. Now it is connected to our fiber optic cable. Let's run it back to our router. Coming over here, we have an indoor media converter. So remember, we used string A to our SFP transceiver and slide it into our media converter. So it will convert the fiber optical signal back to electrical signal. It is already powered up and we're going to use an Ethernet cable to connect it to our router. And here are some tips. Make sure you use fiber optic cables rated for outdoor use and properly mount and case your switches to protect them from the element. And this setup is perfect for remote off-grid locations. We've seen it used in industrial like mining and even disaster recovery where fast and reliable internet is crucial but traditional power sources just aren't an option. So there you have it guys. That's how you can combine the power of the sun with the speed of fiber optics for an outdoor network that's fast, reliable, and sustainable. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that bell icon for more awesome tech content like this one. Thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling. And if you get any question, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And we are here to help. And I'll see you in our next video.